Hey y'all, how's it going? It's Nick here, so back with some more Minecraft fun. I want to talk about um, scaling and rotating objects, so um, let's find a village. So there's a village there, so let's teleport 1808. And what do we got here? We've got uh, villagers, that's a good sign. Alright, so here's a cool looking house. It's got horses, so it must be a good house. Um, let's make a copy of this. So I'm going to use my mark feature. I'm going to go outside one corner and I'm going to say mark one, which will mark that corner. And then I'm going to go up pretty high and make sure I'm beyond the opposite corner. And I'm going to say mark two. And I'm also going to do a force load because I'm going to go pretty far away to play with this. And sometimes when you do that, the coordinates aren't um, aren't loaded in the map, so force load, um, let's add current location, so that should be forced in. Alright, so let's go somewhere totally obscure. If I say copy, it should go ahead and copy that structure that we had marked, and there's, you know, a nice copy of that villager's house. We don't get to copy the animals, unfortunately, but, you know, that's not a problem. And Let's see what's inside here. So, purple bed, uh, flaming torch, uh, some wood that I guess is the guest bed maybe, I don't know, and some, some cool windows. All right, solid. There's our house. Okay, so let's go further away, say, but I'm going to say scale, and let's scale with a factor of five. So we're going to build a larger version of this house. And if we look at this, we're going to have to back up a bit. Turn the lights back on. And the setting sun kind of gives you an idea of, of the, uh, the time. So yeah, so here's our, our scaled up version of this villager's house. And we can go inside. The first step is a bit of a drag. But, you know, once you get in there, so there's pieces of doors floating, right? And there's the crazy purple bed that you can still bounce on. The big block glass windows. Um, their single flaming torch became, you know, a 5x5x5 five by five by five array of 125 torches. Um, and their single door became, you know, 125 doors. Now the doors get stacked, you know, one block at a time, even though doors are supposed to take up two locations so you can still open these doors right and if you really really wanted to you could get through them but if you open a door that's below another door um, the doors above it collapse so that's kind of strange and that's part of why we have all of these these stray door pieces sitting around on the ground but you know this is a pretty cool structure right it's a uh, 125 times the volume right five by five by five um, I'm going to scale, let me, let me set the time back so this all happens in daylight, and I'm going to scale, but I'm going to specify a rotation of uh, 45 degrees. So let's come back and find a place to watch this. And that just happens, right? So. Um, so what do you do about that? Well, you got a few options. One, you can live with the Swiss cheese effect, and it's actually kind of cool to walk in here and fall through holes and see what the structures look like. And, you know, the nice uh, array of torches comes out looking kind of funky. The beds are totally cool. Some of them are floating, and some of them are half beds. Um, the windows are interesting and so on. So um, it's not entirely a bad thing. It's, it's arguably a feature. Of, um, you know something more architecturally interesting, but anyway, um, you know the gist is this is this is an off-axis house, right? So, um, so that's kind of cool. We can we can make these angled structures, um, and they come out you know with this sort of funky pattern. So what if we wanted to do a perfect uh, rotation of say a 45 degree angled version of a structure? I want to clobber the bunny. There's so many bunnies. We'll try it over here. So I'm going to say scale with a factor of 5, 45 degrees, but I'm going to set the, the floating point flag to a 1, and now it's going to use floating point approximations.
All right, so there we go. There is our new house. Oh, sorry, dude. All right, so here is our completed house. And, you know, it's huge, right? Um, it's diagonal. And it's very, uh, very cleanly built. So there's a nice array of torches, you know, scaled um, and angled. There's the cool beds. And so we've got, you know, stripey beds now, which is always awesome. We can bounce on those. Um, and this structure is nice. We can go inside the torches. And, um, and we've got the doors. And the doors are nicely arranged. And, you know, you can interact with them. But you can also just uh, sneak out the side of the doors, maybe. Um, nope, maybe not. But you can sneak out the bottom. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, here's the, the on-axis world and here's our house right so nice clean 45 degrees perfect diagonals comes out looking pretty cool and all the uh all the locals seem to like it which is which is always good um all right so there's um there's some of the stuff you can do um hope you enjoyed that uh, i'll talk to you next time bye